So I love my Biltwell chumps. I love how they look. I love how they feel, especially on long rides. And I have about, what, five or six videos talking about the Biltwell chumps. One of them a full review, which I talk about all of this. And I also talk about what I don't like about them. And that's the lack of knurling in here. And in that video, what I talk about is how the bars loosen up on me. It's not so loose where they bounce back and you can feel the bars move. It's more like a slow progression. Over the course of a week or 10 days, I notice them loosening up. And I've heard of three solutions to solve that problem. Let's talk about it. So Billwell has a pretty good explanation on their website why they don't have knurling on their steel bars. Steel risers plus a steel bar, as Biltwell explains it, does not need knurling. Steel being clamped by steel is strong enough to hold their bars. Now if they're aluminum bars within steel or aluminum risers with steel bars, the knurling might be necessary. So you can have that grip. But with the steel bars and the steel risers, Billwell says it's strong enough. And Billwell explains it thoroughly and convincingly. And I have no doubt that that's true. Maybe it's just my riding style, how I have my bike set up, but it just doesn't seem to work for me. My bars still loosen up. So I can emphatically say, for me, that the Biltwell chumps without knurling or another solution will loosen up for me. Let me know out there if you have the chumps or another Biltwell bar where you don't have that issue, where you don't have the knurling and you don't have another solution holding the bars in there and it doesn't loosen up for you. I'd like to know if that does work for you in fact. So the other solution that I heard out there that I utilized is something called emery cloth. And emery cloth has double backing kind of sandpaper material. So it's a rough edge, kind of like knurling would be on handlebars to hold in, to hold the bars in place. Did it work for me? No, no it didn't. So my next solution was suggested by one of the one of my most favorite motor vloggers out there, and that's John Maxwell. John Maxwell said, head over to Home Depot or your your home supply store and get a screen repair kit. Will this work for me? 